Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, so now we continue with chapter 2 which is first order differential equations. Okay, so now if you can uh, see here, okay, sebelum ni um, dalam topik introduction, so kita dah tengok dah apa itu uh, differential equation. So differential equation means the equation uh, which is include dy dx. Okay, now what is the meaning of first order differential equation? Okay, so kalau saya boleh terangkan kat sini, okay, if you have this equation, okay, so I put here, for example, dy dx plus 5y equals to 3. Okay, so this is we call first order differential equation. Okay, because this one is include uh, first derivative. Okay, so if I write as d square y dx square minus dy dx plus 3y equals to 8. Okay. So, uh, second one, d square y dx square minus dy dx plus 3y equals to 8. Okay, this one is not a first order but this is uh, example of second order differential equation. Okay, this is because this one. Okay, since differential equation here include second derivative which is d square y dx square. So, it means that this is second order differential equation. Okay, so maksudnya kat sini untuk chapter 2, we just focus on first order differential equation. So, bila kita sebut first order differential equation, it means that you have this one dy dx dalam equation just for first order okay so next okay this one okay uh, first order differential equation we have five types of first ODE okay so this one is first separable equation linear equation exact equation homogeneous equation Bernoulli's equation so bila awak jumpa first order differential equation kita dah boleh identify dia mungkin separable dia mungkin linear dia mungkin exact and so on okey so uh, macam mana kita nak kenal setiap bentuk uh, differential equation okey so we can discuss one by one okey first we start with separable equation okey yang ni yang paling simple separable equation Okay, definition of separable equation, a first order differential equation of the form dy dx equals to gx hy. Okay, apa maksud kat sini? Uh, differential equation with function x dan function y is said to be separable or to have separable variables. Maksudnya, okay, separable tu maknanya dia boleh separate kan. Okay, so uh, method of solution here, okay, if you can see here, okay, first step, if you have dy dx equals to gx hy, maksudnya kat sini awak ada satu function x, ada satu function y. Okay, next step, kita cuba pecahkan kepada uh, dua variable yang berlainan. So, kat sini maknanya kalau kat sini HY saya pindah sebelah kiri. So, dia akan jadi 1 over HY dy dx equals to GX. Okay, this one, 1 over HY saya just ganti dengan PY. Sebenarnya kat sini uh, step dia, dia cuma uh, saya menggantikan variable uh, 1 over HY dengan PY sebab yang ni secara general saya just, just nak tunjuk yang uh, variable sebelah kiri adalah variable Y ok so PY DY DX equals to GX ok then saya tak nak ada DX sebelah uh, kiri so saya buat pindah sebelah kanan so dia akan dapat PY DY equals to GX DX so step ni adalah separate the common Term. Maksudnya kita asingkan kalau term yang sama. Okay, then last one, integrate both side. Maksudnya saya integrate sebelah kiri, saya integrate sebelah kanan. So here yeah, I will get PY DY equals to GX DX. So I integrate both side until I get Y equals to and then uh, any function here. So, we saw for y. Okay. So, maksudnya saya nak tekankan kat sini untuk 
uh, topik separable equation. Okey, maksudnya kat sini untuk separable equation, bila awak diberi function, okey saya bagi contoh, for example uh, dy dx equals to x y. Okey, katakan saya bagi uh, function yang paling simple, dy dx equals to x Y. So maksudnya kat sini uh, saya pindahkan Y sebelah kiri so dia akan jadi 1 over Y dy dx equals to X. Okay next 1 over Y dy dx equals to X. Saya tak nak X dx so dia akan jadi 1 over Y dy equals to X dx. Okay then I integrate both Side 1 over y dy equals to uh, x dx and then saya integrate kat sini 1 over y saya akan dapat ln y x dx saya akan dapat x square over 2 plus c. Okay this is my solution ln y equals to x square over 2 plus c then biasanya yang sebelah kiri ni kita cuba supaya dia dapat dalam sebutan Y. Okay. Yang ni saya tunjuk secara general. Saya akan dapat ln Y equals to X square over 2 plus C. Tapi nanti bila awak nak softkan, awak cuba sampai dapat uh, Y. Y equals to and then any function. Okay. So this is for separable equation. Okay. Um, so uh, next is an example. Okay, this one, okay, you can see here example 1. Okay, so saya tunjukkan kat sini adalah contoh untuk uh, A and B, equation A and B. If you can refer your notes, okay, dy dx equals to negative 4x over y. And then the one is dy dx equals to y square x e 3x plus 4y. Okay, so kalau awak tengok kat sini, uh, bila awak cuba separate kan, so dia memang boleh separate between y and x. So that's why we call uh, separable equation. Okay, dia beza dengan non-separable equations. For example, this one, dy dx equals to y plus sin x. Okay, so kat sini... Um, if you have this equation, dy dx equals to y plus sin x. Okay, I write here. Okay, saya tunjukkan bila di mana dia bukan uh, separable equation. dy dx equals to y plus sin x. Okay, so katakan saya nak kumpul y sebelah kiri, saya akan pindahkan y. Tapi kat sini since this is an addition, so dia akan jadi dy dx minus y equals to sin x. Dia tak boleh jadi 1 over y sebab tadi 1 over y sebab dia darab x dengan y. Since now is an addition y plus sin x so it means that bila awak nak bawa y sebelah kiri dia akan jadi dy dx minus y equals to sin x. So bila awak nak pindahkan dx sebelah kanan tak boleh sebab dia ada function negatif uh, minus y dekat sebelah dia. So, uh, kat sini dia adalah non-separable. Maknanya awak tak boleh nak solve cara separable. So, mungkin kita boleh uh, identify dia sebagai differential equation yang bentuk lain. Contohnya linear differential equation or exact differential equation. Okay, so untuk yang separable differential equation, uh, kita boleh solvekan cuma untuk uh, yang ada, yang boleh separate antara uh, term yang berbeza. Okay, so now um, example 3, you try to solve example 3, tapi kat sini dia kata solve the initial value problem. Okay, maksud initial value problem kat sini maknanya awak solve macam biasa. Okay, daripada dy dx, awak solve guna separable, then awak akan dapat y. y equals to Okay, uh, so this is your solution. So, bila awak integrate, dia mesti ada plus C. Uh, so, dia ada plus C. Bila dia ada plus C, bila awak ada initial value problem, okay, Y4 equals to negative 3. It means that when your X equals to 4, your Y equals to negative 
3. So it means that you substitute y negative 3 and then x awak substitute dekat function yang awak akan dapat kat sini. So automatic awak akan dapat nilai C. So yang ni uh, sebenarnya dia solution biasa cuma dia beza bila dia kata initial value problem means that um, you all kena solve nilai untuk C. Okay, so this is a example of separable differential equation. You also can refer textbook.